Now let us take a look at one question and from this particular question we can uh, easily come to know that how we are going to calculate the value of Laplace transform as well as how we can uh, we can get the region of convergence. The region of convergence is the region for which the Laplace transform actually exists. It is actually the value of the uh, S or you can say value in the S plane for which the Laplace transform exists. Now you can see that this is one question here a signal xt is given to be this this is an exponential function and here you have to find out the value of xs that means Laplace transform. Now you have to find out the value of Laplace transform and you have to find out the region for which the, this Laplace transform exists. So let us start with as we know that the value of Laplace transform is given by minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to the power minus st dt. Alright. So now what we have to do we just have to substitute the value of xt from here. Alright. So we will be getting what minus infinity to infinity e raised to the power minus at ut e raised to the power minus st dt. So you should be very much proficient in integration as you have to deal with the questions of our Laplace transform you should be having a very good hold on integration as well. So now moving ahead after this what is happening here this is a unit step function and you know that the unit step function only exists for t is equals to t should be more than or equal to 0. Alright, so I can say that this infinity would be from 0 to infinity because for the for all the negative values that means from minus infinity to minus 1 the value of this function would become 0 as there, there is an involvement of ut here. So here the limit, uh, limit would be constrained from 0 to infinity and I will be getting e raised to the power minus at s to the power uh, e, sorry e raised to the power minus st and then dt. Alright. Now after that I can write it like this, this is 0 to infinity alright then I can combine them this is e raised to the power minus of a plus s or s plus a into t dt. Now further I have to integrate it, to integrate it after the integration what will I get? I will get integration of this function would be same minus of s plus a divided by this constant here that is nothing but minus of s plus a and limits are from 0 to infinity. I hope you understand what I have done here. Now after this I just have to substitute the values of the limits. Now I can say that this function would become for the value of upper limit it will become e raised to the power minus infinity minus lower limit that is e to the power 0 and at the outside I am having this constant that is 1 upon minus of s plus a alright. So now we know that e to the power minus infinity would become 0 as I can write it like this this is 1 upon e to the power infinity and 1 upon infinity is nothing but the 0. So here it will become 0 minus 1 minus of 1 upon s plus a alright. So from this I am getting what? I am getting 1 upon s plus a. This minus goes with this minus and we are just left with 1 upon s plus a. This is nothing but the Laplace transform of this particular function. Now we have to define the region of convergence. The region for which this Laplace transform exists. So let us see.